Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our WordPress site so that we can view it in the browser. Cloud9 makes this super easy to do. You'll notice right here before I do that, um, it says we've already gone ahead and started MySQL. And to view the website, all we have to do is click the Run Project button up here. Okay, so what they're saying is that they've started the MySQL database. And we're going to talk about that a little more down the line. Uh, there's a database running in the background so that we can operate our website and save things um, almost like the website has its own hard drive. That's where it's going to save its data in that MySQL database. Okay, so it's already running, so we don't have to start that up. All we have to do now is click this Run Project button. So let's do that now. Okay, you'll notice when I clicked that, that down here a new terminal window popped up. And I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. And it's saying, okay, we've started the Apache server. That's what this basically means. It started an Apache server. So once that server has started up, now the world can come visit our website. They've placed us right here in this URL. So if you go ahead and click that, your URL is going to be different. It's going to be based on the name you gave this uh, workspace as well as your username. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it says... Uh, open. I'm just going to click open. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back really quick. It's opened up in a new browser tab for me. Um, if you click it and you see it open up inside Cloud9, that may happen as well. What you'll want to do if that happens is just grab the URL from in there and then copy. So Control C on a window machine and Command C on Mac and then open up a new browser tab and paste that in so that you're out here. Okay, so that's what we want to do. You want it in a separate browser tab. We're not gonna use the built-in browser. This is basically a web browser within Google Chrome. So it's like a browser inside of a browser. We don't wanna use that for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that down, but you do need to leave this terminal window running that's got all of your server information. Uh, you'll notice you can't really type commands down there either because you don't see that dollar sign like you do over here. And that's okay because what it's doing is it's logging the activity. It's logging who's hitting the website. And right now, it should just be yourself. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and set up our WordPress site. So I'm going to choose my language. I'm going to click Continue. And then we're going to give our website a title. You can give it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Custom Theme. And that's going to be the name of our website. We can change that later. Go ahead and input a username. I'm going to use the same one for Cloud9. And then also go ahead and put a password in. Make sure you write down the username and the password that you choose here because you're going to need it again to log into the WordPress admin area. That's different from Cloud9. Okay, I'm going to confirm the use of a weak password. You may want to use a stronger password. We're not going to put any sensitive information into this project that we're building, so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill out my email, and I'm going to click this as well. Discourage search engines from indexing a site because this is not something that we want the search engines to really track, okay, since it's a project. So I'm going to fill this out, and I'm going to click Install WordPress. Okay, I've got the success page showing here, so now I'm going to go ahead and just click this Login button. And this is going to take us now to the WordPress admin area. This is kind of like the back end of our website where we can administer things. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. Okay, so here we are. Now we're inside of the WordPress admin area and our site is set up. If you right-click over here on our site name, if you right-click on that and then choose Open Link in New Tab, you'll see in a new tab, this is our actual landing page. This is our home page, okay? And this is our admin area where we can kind of manage the website and add content to it. All right, so now our website is set up and we'll take it from there.